In her new role as president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley is calling on Congress to take immediate action on a bipartisan infrastructure plan. Two News reporter Adam Reif has new information. He's live in the newsroom to break down the plan. Mayor Whaley tells me she is scheduled to meet with President Biden in Washington tomorrow afternoon to talk about how local communities will be impacted by this plan. Now, the Conference of Mayors says failing infrastructure is one of the most pressing and unifying challenges facing the country. We have a real opportunity before us to transform the backbone of this country. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley and the U.S. Conference of Mayors said the bipartisan framework would help make the economy more sustainable, resilient, and just. We spoke with Mayor Whaley on the phone about a letter the conference sent to congressional leaders Tuesday. What we're, we're facing is really a, a, an issue of us not investing in our future. She says cities across the country still have lead pipes and inadequate wastewater systems, adding roads and bridges across the country are failing. The need for this is very, very real. And we've been waiting for years for action, and we have a bipartisan support now. It's time to get it done. Ohio Senator Rob Portman is the lead Republican on the bipartisan group. This is about efficiency to make our economy more productive, and then that will come back to benefit uh, workers and, and the economy generally and result in on Wednesday, Mayor Whaley will travel to Washington to meet with President Biden to personally discuss how the framework could help cities and towns. Well, I'm really excited to discuss how important this plan is for America's cities. We're excited to do what we can to get this across the finish line. And the Conference of Mayors wants to work closely with Congress. This plan represents the most significant long-term investment in America's infrastructure in nearly a century. But it's really important that we get this right. Now, that letter to congressional leaders was signed by 369 mayors from all 50 states, Democrats and Republicans. The group stresses that no pandemic money should be taken back or redirected for infrastructure. The group is also asking that local decision makers be empowered to help their communities. In the newsroom, Adam Rive, 2 News, working for you.